topic 5, subtopic 5.4, application of vector in geometry, objective C. Find the equation of plane in the form of vector form and Cartesian form. Plane, plane eh? Plane in 3D space is uniquely determined if so we have two situations here. So it is either given to us one point which is on the plane. So the point A is given as A1, A2, A3 and one vector which is perpendicular to the plane. So for to find the plane equation, we need to have a point which is on the plane and the vector which is perpendicular to the plane. So the second situation is given to us three points. Find a plane passes through three given points. So which is point A, A1, A2, A3, point B, B1, B2, B3, and point C, C1, C2, C3. So what is the formula for plane? Given a plane with normal vector and equal to AI plus BJ plus CK, the plane passes through a fixed point which is A1, A2, A3. Let R be any point on the plane. So the coordinate is X, Y, Z. Since N is perpendicular to the plane, then N is also perpendicular to AR. So this is our illustration for definition above. So we have N, this is vector N, which is perpendicular to a plane. So it is actually perpendicular to vector AR. So by using properties of dot product, AR dot with N must be equal to zero. So how to find vector AR? Vector AR can be defined as OR minus OA. OR minus OA dot N with equal to zero. So we have vector OR can be denoted as vector R. OA can be denoted as vector A. These two are position vectors. So it is equal to zero. So we have r dot n equal to a dot n equal to zero. Therefore, r dot n equal to a dot n. Assuming that p is equal to a dot n because a dot n is actually a scalar. A dot n is dot product. Dot product is actually a scalar. So how to remember the formula for plane equation. It is r dot n equal to a dot n which is roti nan. Eh? Roti nan. So we know that r dot n equal to p n is a normal vector which is a i plus b j plus c k equal to p so this is called vector equation of plane. Let R be uh, coordinate x, y, and z. Okay, then substitute vector R, x, i, y, j, z, k into the equation R dot n equal to p. Then expand by using dot product. So we have it is AX plus BY plus CZ equal to P. So this is called Cartesian equation of P.
plane. We can also write our vector in terms of a matrix form. So here we can conclude that there are two types of equation uh, of plane, which is the first one is vector equation of plane, which is r dot n equal to a dot n. And the second one is ax plus by plus Z, cz equal to p. So this is, this is called Cartesian equation of plane. So from these two equation, we need to know what is our n, what is our um, normal vector. Example one, find the vector and Cartesian equation. So find the vector equation and Cartesian equation of plane. So this is about plane. So. If we want to find the plane, we need to have the first one is a point which is on the plane. And the second one is, the second one is we need to have a vector. Vector which is perpendicular to the Plane. So, these two we must have before we find our uh, vector equation of plane. So, these two we must have to get a vector equation or Cartesian equation of plane. So, for this example, what is the point? The point is negative 1, 2, 4. So, this is our point A. And this is A is our position vectors. And the normal vector is given as I plus 2J plus 3K. So directly here we can have the vector equation is. Okay, so the vector equation is R dot N equal to A dot N. So R is R. So, n is 1, 2, 3 is equal to a is negative 1, 2, 4 dot with um, 1, 2, 3. So, simplify for the right hand side. So, we have negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 plus 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4 times 3 is 12. So, for the left-hand side, we have r dot i plus 2j plus 3k. So, the answer for our vector equation is r dot i plus 2j plus 3k is equal to 15. So this is our vector equation. Now finding the Cartesian equation, uh, substitute r with x, y, z and uh, the vector n is 1, 2, 3 is equal to 15. So by using dot product, expand by using dot product, we have x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 15 as our Cartesian equation.